Hey guys, Sal and Dominic from Genuine Reels, and we just saw the one, two, three, fourth film in the DC Cinematic Universe, Wonder Woman, but you could watch this one first because it takes place before all the other ones. This movie no, is... No, 40s, I believe. 1940s. I World, it's World, earlier. World War II? One. World War One. World War One. Uh, anyway, this is directed by Patty Jenkins, uh, director of Monster. It is starring Gail Gadot. And Chris Pine, your boy, we'll talk about him in a minute. Big Chris Pine fan. Big Chris Pine fan. Sal, what did you think about this movie? I thought it started out really good mm -hmm. on the mystical island where... Ama uh, Amazonia? Uh, Ama Amazon. The Amazon. Amazons. The Amazon ladies. Amazon. The Amazon. I thought it was really good. A lot of action there. Mm -hmm. It was a good story. It was long. It was mm -hmm. coming together. And then I feel like the movie really took a pause. But too long of a pause. Right. Like, pauses here and there to, mm -hmm. to explain the story is good. But, like, this was like... I felt like I watched this movie for like four hours. I mean, it was only like two and a half, but it yeah. felt it felt yeah. like four hours. And, you know, the movie really dragged at times. It was very slow. You know, some of the acting was just poor. Oh, we're yeah. going to talk about some yeah. stuff. The movie does, you hit the nail on the head. You say the movie starts off great. I loved all the Amazoni, Amazonian. Amazonian. Amazonians. Women. I'm not so versed. They were bad. They were badass. They are badass. I'm not so versed in Wonder Woman, you know, so I'm not going to pretend I am. But I liked all that stuff. I liked all the actresses. I liked the dynamic between the mother, the yeah. daughter, the aunt. The aunt, yeah. I liked all the stuff. And it was it was it's something that reminded me of Krypton from uh, yes, Superman. Yes, the first half an hour was great. Yeah, oh, and I really great. liked it. it. And then you're right, the movie kind of I don't want to say it takes a full nose dive. No, no, but it becomes boring. Like I can't say it anymore. Boring, boring. It becomes boring. Like, and listen, like you know, like I said, I like Chris Pine. I mm -hmm. liked where the story was going, and I, I just it got boring. It was like some of the characters they brought in weren't really that funny. Right. Well, it. that's the thing too, and I'm not saying this had to be a full blown comedy. And, you know, Marvel, to bring up Marvel, because we're going to bring up Marvel, compare and contrast, Marvel does its comedy, and sometimes it's like, ah, I don't want, I don't have yeah. enough of this. But this movie, it just wasn't hitting the mark with the comedy it was trying to hit, which I think even Marvel does that. I will say Chris Pine was good. Gail Gadot is good, but let's get into the acting. Um, She's good looking, not a good <laughs> actor. And I hate that, you know, uh, she, yeah, she's uh, just not... I don't know. All right, well, here's my thing. Like, when you watch Batman v Superman, which you haven't seen, right? No. Batman v Superman, she's like, she's not a good actress. And you see she's not a good actress in this movie. In that movie, they use her sparingly. Now, in this movie, she's Wonder Woman. What they do and what Patty Jenkins is good at doing is saying, like, okay, cut here. Cut here, say dialogue, cut here, but, and... The, the whole movie was just a lot of her, like... Stairs. Stairs. A lot of stairs. Slow, a lot of, like... stairs and, like... Bullet blocks, like bullet obligatory Wonder yeah, Woman like, pose, and like you know, and listen, I'm, I'm not saying I, like I enjoy her in the fast movies, you know, and right, and, I, like I enjoy her as an mm -hmm. actress, but she's not like a quality right, lead role, quality like lead. you know. And listen, the rest of the cast elevates her. It's sort of absolutely, like absolutely. you know, you watch Chris Pine. Chris Pine is definitely a better actor, mm -hmm. quality wise. He's definitely a better actor, and there are definitely better actors in the beginning of that movie with the Amazonians and stuff like that. And they yeah. elevate her performance. They know, like I said, they know when to stop the camera. They do a lot of the stairs. Uh, I will say the story's pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, you know, no, it's, I really have no complaints with that. It just it's, they could have told it in a in a quicker fashion than right. they did. Like it, it, well, that's the thing. It's moment. two hours and 20 minutes. I believe Batman v Superman was about two and a half hours, too. And I will say, guys, as uh, might get some shit, but like, I think I like Batman v Superman better than this movie. Batman v Superman's got Batman, it. it's got Superman, and it's got Wonder Woman, and they're all great. I love the fact that we're getting a female superhero, a full movie. I think this is great. I think it's a good step in the right direction for DC as far as that. But past that and looking at it as an actual movie, I don't think it's that great. You know what it reminded me a lot of, which I'll, there's going to be a comparison, Captain America the First Avenger. Yes. Right, which Captain America the First Avenger I did not love, but I... I enjoyed it. I, I like it, but I think it's a better movie than this. I think yes. it's executed yeah. better. Yeah, yeah. I Definitely. was, and it. Not, not saying this was a bad movie. No, it's not a bad movie. It, wasn't it a bad isn't movie. a bad movie. But yeah, no, I I enjoyed Captain Event, uh, America more right. than I enjoyed this. This was like I found myself dozing off a little bit. Well, I think too, you know, like when you bring up Chris Pine and stuff like that. But past him, really, like where are the rest of the characters? 
Like, is there any memorable characters? You got the girl with the no. face. No, well, you know, and she was a waste of a character too. Like, really, right. you, you only saw her for five minutes, maybe, mm -hmm. on screen, and she Being light on the sport. She, sorry, she had no uh, no real dialogue or anything like that. Uh, the other guy, the other guy, uh, another kind of uh, from X Men. You know? I will say, when the action, the best parts of this movie is seeing the action. Seeing yeah, one the action's awesome. Ass. Like, yeah, she's she's awesome. Like with mm -hmm. that, like flying in the air sideways. Oh, you did it. You actually get your foot. Oh, you got your foot up there. Well, listen, like I said, great step for DC as far as having a female-led superhero movie. It took this long to get a Wonder Woman movie. It's ridiculous. We no, haven't it had was really since good. Since the Linda And she Carter looked thing. like, they made her look a lot like Linda Carter. Like well, the, I mean, no, but I mean, like, there were <laughs> scenes, I don't know, I don't know how to explain this, and maybe people that, if you saw it, if you know what I'm talking about, when you see it, like, there were scenes, especially the slow motion one, like, I feel like they did something to her face. I mean, Conspiracy I, theories. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Her hair was definitely, like, like had a little, like, permish, like, it was definitely blown out. And, right, like, maybe they gave it the 70s the hair, throwback. It, look, that's it, it definitely yeah, did. Yeah, okay. it, the hair definitely had the 70s throwback, but, like, something with her face. Like, she didn't look like who she <laughs> is. <laughs> face off. Maybe, <laughs> like, a Nicolas Cage. Maybe. Face off. This is possible. They possibly did the face swap. Face off. No, and, <laughs> and, uh, like, I was looking at her face, and, like, she looked okay. like... <laughs> this conversation is over. Somebody <laughs> needs to get back to me. All right. All right. Anyway. Has anybody seen Face Off? Everybody's seen Face Off. If you haven't seen Face Off, what are you doing in your life? All right. Star rating out of five stars. I'll give it a three and a half. <sighs> this is the dilemma for me. And I'm, that was generous. All right. I'm honestly... I'm going to give it three stars out of five. And, if I'm remembering correctly, that's the same rating I initially gave Batman v Superman. <clears throat> Excuse me. When it came out... So, uh, you know, hey, I think, listen, one problem, and I'm not going to get on that whole Rotten Tomatoes, fuck Rotten Tomatoes bandwagon, because it's bullshit, but one thing I will say, to bring up Batman v Superman again, and I am critical of that movie, that movie did not deserve the hate it got, this movie does not deserve all the praise, it's not a bad movie, No, it's got good moments, it's but I, say, I see what you're saying, this one is... Not deserving it, it, of it's it. It's not, listen, it's not um, a flawless movie. I didn't walk out of here like, wow. That's the problem. You know, that's no why wow. I didn't walk no out wow of here like... going like, this was amazing. I kind of walked out of there like, okay, I want to see what's next. I want to see Justice League. I think I'm ready for Justice League. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for Aquaman. And I want to see, because now we're getting to talk about... The Vinny Chase? Vinny Chase going to be No, on? that's that's Entourage. That's not real. Uh, that's how up to date Sal is. <laughs> but I want to see Batgirl. Josh Whedon's supposed to do Batgirl. Josh Whedon, director of Avengers. Do you Batgirl. remember? Do you remember Christopher Walken in uh, in Batman? Why is this happening? And Catwoman and Max Shrek. Yeah, Max Shrek, and he throws. He boom, throws, boom. Yeah. And he throws Michelle Viber out the window. You want to talk about horror? That's horror. You want to talk about a fucking uh, great. Female character. Michelle. Let's talk about Michelle. Listen, if we could go back in time, listen, Catwoman movie. Don't think about that Halle Berry one. Catwoman movie, <laughs> digitally, uh, youth. What is a word I'm looking for? Make really? Michelle Pfeiffer younger. Actually, fuck it. Leave her old. Older. Michelle Pfeiffer still Michelle. looks good. Let's Michelle, do it. Michelle Pfeiffer. WB, you're listening. That was a that was a great. She was a great Catwoman. Great Catwoman. I was fucking terrified. Yeah. Well, things could be worse. I could be gushing blood from my nose. That's my penguin. That's my Oswald Cobblepot. And I'll end on that note. Let us know what you thought of Wonder Woman. Did it live up to your hype? Did you hate it? Check out the other videos, guys. Check out the comedy sketches. And, of course, if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching.